G'day viewers, welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. Now you're not going insane and accidentally clicked on that Lincoln video from a few weeks ago. This is another brand new Lincoln video, the number 31 Lincoln Continental to be precise. This is another one that Gerard and Renee have sent in from Gerard's bucket of cars that seems to be bottomless. Uh, they had a friend who likes a TV show that has a black one of these in it. Now, I don't know what the show is. Renee couldn't remember what the show is. But if you know the show that they might be talking about, let me know in the comments. Uh, but Renee brought it in uh, shortly after the other video went live. And she said, well, I've seen you already done one of these, but I'd like a custom job of this one. I'd like it all in gloss black. So I'm more than happy to oblige. We'll get it looking nice again. I'm gonna really try and jazz this one up a bit. Renee doesn't want custom wheels on this. She said, no, no, keep the black wheels on it. That's what makes them special, isn't it? And I, well, yeah. So we're gonna keep the original wheels on it. We'll see how it goes. Um, let's get crack -a lacking as I'm required by law now to say, and see what we can do for this old Lincoln. All right, so after I've stripped the paint, I hit it with the Scotch-Brite wheel just to see where I'm at. Now, I'm gonna try and file all the casting marks off this casting, obviously. Um, this has some pretty nasty ones at the best of times, this casting. You may have seen in the other Lincoln restoration video. I left them in there because, you know, the casting marks are part of what these toys are. That's how they are made. Uh, but as this is a special custom and request for Renee, I'm going to try and file them all out. Try and get it smooth uh, in between filing them. I hit them with the scotch Brite wheel again just to try and neaten it up a bit. See how much more work I've got to go. The boot lid had a particularly nasty one right across it. So you can see at the end whether you think I've been successful or not. <sighs> Sorry, I was... That's a ordinary sound effect. Sorry, everybody. I've had such wonderful feedback about my sound effects. You must have all lost your minds. <laughs> all right, time for the paint. How's this for a shot, everybody? Got my dumb rubber glove hand in the way. You can't see a thing I'm doing. I'm going to get an Oscar for cinematography. <laughs> Not. Anyway, after the tack coat, I go over it again, and uh, you can actually see me doing a little bit more of it before I get my dumb hand in the way again. Shh, shh, shh. I clear coated it too, of course. All right, that's enough of the sound effects. Here I am attacking the base. I am gonna custom paint this, but of course we need a good base to work on, so I'm cleaning it right up before I put any paint on it. Okay, that's it. Okay, so using Marty Matchbox's drill press method, I'm going to form the axles back over on the wheels, but I have to replace those nails and find something better because I actually did a bit of, well not damage, I, I buggered the paint on the wheels uh, when I refurbished them, so I had to touch them up. After I cleaned up that base, I primed it and I sprayed it uh, semi-gloss black, and then I squeezed out a little bit of the Molotow chrome paint, and I'm going to paint the front and rear bumper and grill with that, and do some other detailing on it as well. Now, Renee didn't ask for it, but I couldn't help myself. I thought it would look really classy gloss black with a black vinyl top. So I got my masking tape and I made a little vinyl top for it. So here I am just coloring it in with a black three mil iron like a paint pen. Uh, doing it, doing it, and then I remembered I hadn't cut out the rear window, so I stopped and did that, and then I got back to colouring it in again. So 
So now I'm going to do some other detailing of the headlights, the turn signals, uh, the brake lamps, uh, all of which I drew inspiration from H World. That's A I T C H World, not the letter H. Who, when I did my first Lincoln, sent me some pictures of his custom. Uh, his is a super fast, uh, but it looked really good. It was all black, and so I have to give you full credit, Andrew. Thank you for the inspiration for that. Uh, yours look great, and I'm, hopefully mine looks a fraction as good as yours. Now I'm just doing a little bit of chrome around the front window. I also did the uh, B pillars as well. So you can see where I put the tape on there so I won't get the chrome on the black paint. I'm a genius and then watch as I pull it off. Yes, I did strip a little chip of the paint off it too, so I'm going to have to touch that up, which I did like this. Touch up, touch up, touch up, touch up, touch up, touch up. And then I touched up the wheels that I damaged on the drill press as well. And now it's time for the white knuckle thrill ride of reassembly. I'll put the glass in. I did use a little touch of uh, canopy glue just to hold it into place. Yes, I did put too much of it on there. Anyway. And just a touch of officially licensed Martin Dare's super duper super glue. <laughs> the suspension piece. And then I'll just Allen key the rest together. And we're almost done. All right, with that twisted and tightened up, I'm gonna clamp that glue for a little bit and we are done. All right, so here we are back at the start with Gerard and Renee's Lincoln Continental. Um, apart from the ordinary paint and what looks to be a little bit of corrosion on it, actually complete and in really good shape. The glass was excellent, much better than the glass in mine. But anyway, Renee wanted it customised for a friend, and that's what we did. So this is what we started with, and this is what we've got now. Looking pretty sinister in black. Uh, with its black vinyl top. I probably could have used a lower sheen on that top. It's almost as glossy as the body and it doesn't give it quite the contrast I was chasing. Renee's choice of keeping the original wheels has worked really well, I reckon. Uh, the axles look like little dog dish hubcaps on black steel rims on it, I think. So that's worked really good. Good job, Renee. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one, even if it was a repeat of one I've already done. It was a different take on a Lesney Classic. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, so real talk now, viewers. I've got to give a heartfelt uh, shout out and best wishes to Gerard and Renee, who are entering a new phase of their lives very shortly. Friday, today, is Renee's last day at work before she goes off to see if she can knock out baby G who I've dubbed him, that might end up being his actual real and full name, I would expect. Baby G, Peter, etc, etc, don't want to give away all their personal secrets. So I really wish you the best, guys. Um, I remember before my son was born, people would say, oh, you think you know it's coming, you think it's, you know, your heart's going to be, but you can't, you can't, explain it to anybody until they're living it themselves and I'm sure you'll be great parents and thank you very much for all your support over the years um, wish you all the best don't forget you've got till midnight tonight viewers to get in with the code word from last week's video Saturday will be the draw I've also got a little mini unboxing video from JV to tack on to the end of that uh, he's uh, where do I start he's been so generous anyway I'll see you tomorrow for the special draw. Good luck, Gerard and Renee and Baby G. And I'll see you tomorrow. That's all I've got to say. Bye.